Last exam question walkthrough on structure determination, which includes carbon-13 NMR and qualitative analysis. So here's the question. If you want to process that information, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So the first thing I would do is as I'm reading through the information, I'm just going to pick out some key bits of information that are going to help us. So compound F is converted to G when heated under reflux with acidified potassium dichromate 6. So it's been oxidized. Compound G reacts with 2,4-DNP to form an orange solid. So it must be a carbonyl. Um, but compound G doesn't react with tollens to give a silver mirror. So therefore it's not an aldehyde. It must be a ketone. So because this was done under reflux, F must be a secondary alcohol. So we're just going to park that for a minute and we'll process the carbon-13 NMR spectrum for G. So we've just established that G is a ketone, so therefore its molecular formula is going to be C5H10O. There's four carbon environments in this spectrum, there's four peaks, but because it's got five carbons, two of the carbons must be equivalent to each other. So the types of environments we've got, we've got C double bond O, which obviously ties in nicely with the fact that it's a ketone and we've got three CC environments. So when you try and work out a structure for this, there's only one possible thing it could be, and it's that one there. So these two CH3 carbons are equivalent, so that's one environment, two, three, four. There's your peak at sort of 210, that one there, and these peaks here are obviously the other ones. So remembering how G was formed, it was formed by the reflux of that secondary alcohol, so therefore F must be that. So moving on to the other information, it's got a little calculation to do here. So the first thing we'll do is calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide using the titration. Uh, the ratio between the carboxylic acid and the sodium hydroxide is 1 to 1, so the moles of carboxylic acid is the same. So we can work out the MR of H by mass over moles. So we know that it's 74 grams per mole. So if we subtract the 45 for the COH, that leaves 29, which is C2H5. So H must be C2H5, COH, in other words, propanoic acid. And then the final bit of information, when F, remember F was a, an alcohol, reacts with H, which is a carboxylic acid. In the presence of conch sulfuric acid, we're going to get compound I. That's obviously a sterification reaction. So if we just put the two structures on the screen there of F and H, lasso out the water, which is what happens in esterification. So I must be that ester there.